Welcome to this evening's coverage of the Heat Pump Premier League. We finished up 2024, so let's take a look back at the league table and see exactly how we did. So this is a continuation of my series of videos debunking some of the myths and just plain misinformation that's been spreading around on YouTube about heat pumps. Now I thought what we should do is look at facts. You remember facts, they used to be important until people started crying about their right-wing opinions were being squashed, so they wanted to do away with facts and just publish whatever they thought was right. So let's take on the myth that heat pumps don't work in cold climates. Only yesterday I had this comment. Try living 500 miles further north, heat pumps just don't cope. So I decided, let's go find out the facts. Well, firstly, 500 miles due north of where I live is on the west coast of Norway. So that's where we're gonna go and look. We're gonna go and see how do heat pumps work in Norway and Scandinavia. And in fact, one of the biggest supporters of heat pumps that I've had in the comments over the last year is Ben in Sweden. He's been a regular contributor. He lives in Sweden, funnily enough, Ben in Sweden. And he says that heat pumps are really common in Scandinavia. In fact, much more common than they are in the UK. And forgive me if I've got this wrong, but isn't it kind of cold in Scandinavia in the winter? So let's take a look at the facts. We're going to look at Countries around the world, as a percentage of the population, as a, the number of homes in those particular countries, and what percentage of them use heat pumps as their primary source of heating. Now, the place I got this information is the European Heat Pump Association. Um, you can go look them up on Google, and they publish all sorts of information about all sorts of things around heat pumps around the world, not just in Europe. They happen to publish a league table of countries by percentage of population. So does anyone want to guess who is the top three worldwide? Which three countries are numbers one, two, and three? Well, number one is Norway. Funnily enough, the country that is 500 miles north of where I live. Norway has between 60 and 65% of its homes heated by heat pumps. In second place, we have Sweden, where Ben's from. Sweden, it's about 50 to 60% of homes. Their primary source of heating is a heat pump. And in third place, Finland, 45 to 50% of homes use a heat pump as their primary heating source. Now, I could be mistaken, but aren't those countries a lot colder than the UK in the winter? Maybe the Daily Mail readers can go and fact check me. But anyway, let's take a look at the full table. This is the table that the European Heat Pump Association has published. As you can see, Norway 1, Sweden 2, Finland 3, Estonia, another country that's generally quite cold in the winter, is number 4. Switzerland, a country that is quite cold in the winter, is number 5. Then in 6th place we have France, followed up by Austria, Germany, Denmark and the United States. Now you'll notice the UK doesn't even make the top 10. So where is the UK? If we're not in the top 10, well actually we're not even in the top 20. The UK, according to the EHPA, the European Heat Pump Association, has just between four and 5% of homes using heat pumps as their primary source of heating. So much as our government loves to tell us that we're leading the world, we're not. We're very, very, very far behind. Why? Well, firstly, heat pumps as a technology are relatively new to the UK, but there is an awful lot of misinformation and nonsense being peddled by groups interested in maintaining the status quo. I'll let you decide who they are, but start with companies that make money selling gas. Why would they have a vested interest in keeping the country buying gas? if it's their primary product that they sell to make money for their shareholders. Now, this information is not hard to find. I didn't have to sign up for anything. I didn't have to go dig in. I literally asked ChatGPT, and when it gave me the information, I asked it to cite its sources, and it gave me a link to the European Heat Pump Association. 
But too many people in this country believe their friend who heard from a guy down the pub that a bloke neither of them had met has an auntie in Scotland who has a neighbour whose mum had a bad install. And therefore, on that basis, we should condemn heat pumps and nobody should install them. They're just rubbish and we should continue to burn gas. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that heat pumps are for everyone. I'm not even saying they're suitable for every house, but they are suitable for a large portion of the population. Now, this rank nonsense has just got to stop. Until it does, I'm just going to keep knocking down these myths as they come up. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you put off by the rumours you hear from friends or in the newspapers or, or online social media that you read? Do you believe the myth that they don't work in cold climates? I'd love to hear what you think. But the one thing I would ask is, let's keep the conversation civil. So it just remains for me to say, thank you very much for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it. I'm not expecting anyone to suddenly have a complete conversion and say, no, no, I now want to get it, go and get a heat pump just based on one video. But please, please, please don't believe everything you read in the Daily Mail. With that, I'm going to sign off. Thanks very much for clicking on the video, and I'll hopefully see you back here real soon for another one. Take care. Bye-bye.